Alrighty, so the first of the par threes, we are going to come in here, and this is hole number two. And a lot of people are gonna go for that rough bump, and I don't think it's the best shot here. Uh, this happens to be David Pendleton's shot, and he's gonna go, he recommends doing two back, point two to the right at the bottom of the plus two with the red ring by the rough. And then we're gonna make our adjustment at 25% max. Remember, if you're looking for detailed notes, David and I uh, make our Patreon guides for you. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cheap to get, and it will definitely give you tons of banners in your future. It gives you such a big advantage uh, to have that when you don't have such developed clubs. This really helps. There you go. Let's go on to the next part three. Hole in one. Alrighty guys, so for hole number four, there are three different wind angles. Uh, here is wind angle number one. If you notice, it is facing the blue bush. That blue bush means you're gonna do 0.5 to the right. The other two, which the one is pointing to the tree and the other one is pointing kind of towards the rock, you're gonna do 0.8 to the right. And it's super important you get this. Um, that's why I'm making this video just for you guys for all the par threes. Now let's take a look at the hole we're currently on right now, which is the tree look. And you see, we're gonna come in here at our spin, 3.5 back, 0.8 to the right. Um, I have a pretty low wind, so I'm super happy. I am aiming to the left of the hole, and you see I'm finding my wind angle facing the tree. There you go. And make our adjustment. And this comes in very nicely. Do hit perfect. And beautiful. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so we have two different shots here. The first one's gonna be at a lower wind. This is almost the lowest wind you can get in Rookie, which is 2.3 miles an hour. And I'm gonna do the same setup, which is uh, 2.8 back, 0.2 to the right. And I want you to take note to where I'm putting my ball guide. My ball guide is running just through the middle of the hole, maybe favoring just a dash of the right hand side. That is pretty much about it. Um, now, as we go further up the winds, you want to progress over just a little bit each time the wind goes up a notch. I will show you a second shot with the wind over four miles an hour at the max Perfect shot. wind angle or wind mile per hour so you can see the difference. Hole in one. So with this shot, my wind is 4.2, which is almost the max wind you can get with a power one ball in Rookie. Notice I do the same exact setup. I do uh, 2.8, 0.2 to the right, uh, but I'm gonna line up with my full ball guide on the right, brushing right off the, the, the pin there. You see, I'm, I'm now covering just the edge of the cup the right hand side of the cup instead of going right to the pin or the flag stick, whatever you want to call it. I make my adjustment at 3.9 rings, which is 5% mid numbers. And uh, hit perfect, of course. I will have this all detailed in the Patreon notes. Hits nicely and comes up center pin. Love to hear that ding. Good luck, that's all the part threes.